Hey guys, it's Priscilla. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be filming, I guess, a little makeup tutorial kind of thing. I already have my eyebrows and mascara and eyeliner on, but I'm gonna be going to take photos for this thing my friends and I are doing. And if you didn't know, I'm a lime white. So there's this whole like case going on. I guess I'm not gonna go off on a whole spiel right now, but if you guys want, comment down below if you want a video of me going on that. So I wrote hashtag free why don't we on the palm of my hand, but now I'm gonna do my makeup routine, I guess. This is what I would do if I were to put on makeup. I definitely do not wear makeup every day now. I used to, but then I kind of stopped because your girl got lazy. I'm not even gonna try to make up an excuse. So I'm gonna start by taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I'm just gonna cover up bob one here and a couple bobs that I have here. And I like to name my pimples and currently I named them Bob. Why? I don't know, no hate to anybody named Bob. I feel like I'm so weird, but you know, it's okay. And I promise I'm wearing a shirt. It's a tube top though, so. It may not seem like I'm wearing one, but I promise I'm wearing one. And then I go in with the Glossier Skin Tint. Um, I kind of like to mix these two because one, the concealer is way too dark when I'm not tan. And two, I feel like this just kind of makes a better shade for me. Yeah. So I then go ahead and take my, I don't even know what the name of this brush is. It's a, I got this from like TJ Maxx or something a while ago. It's just like a stippling brush and I just kind of go in circular motions. And if you see me looking over here, it's because there's a mirror right here. And I'm kind of new to see what I'm doing and my camera is not large enough or close enough as a matter of fact to even be able to see close enough. So basically I'm gonna go take pictures for Instagram today, even though I already posted once. I might post them today, I think I will. So yeah. Um if you guys are enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and follow my social media. My Instagram is at Pris underscore Penalosa. My Twitter account is at Priscilla Peniel 4. And then my snap is ppenalosa46. Um, so far that's all the social media that I can think of that I actually have. Okay, so now that's all blended in, I kind of just take whatever's left on my brush and bring it down my neck. Okay, so after that, I then go ahead and take my, I think it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Don't know what shade this is in, but I'm about out of it. I am actually obsessed with it. It's such a good concealer. Um, I heard it's kind of like a dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I don't, I wouldn't know because I have never tried it personally. But I've heard it's pretty similar. And then I also go back and with a little bit more of the same concealer from earlier. And I just go ahead and do this with whatever's love. Just kind of help cover up whatever, you know. And then I kind of just let this sit for a little bit on my face and then I work on my bronzer. Actually, I'm gonna grab my powder just so it's ready. I also like to keep my powder inside my bag just in case I ever need to touch up because I have oily skin. So you best know that I like to keep my powder with me at all times. It, I use the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC40. Yep. Okay, so now that I let that sit for a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and just kind of go on under my eyes. Also, leave any comment down below 
Um, just to tell me basically what you would want me to film next and whatnot. Don't mind how messy my cabinet is. I'm gonna grab. Yes, I know. This is weird, okay? I know this is weird. But I'm using a dry sponge, and here's why. Because, um, whenever I used to use like a wet sponge to do my makeup, it just did not go well. So I just started using a dry sponge, and I found it works so much better. Don't tell me it's bad unless you actually try it. Then go and tell me it's bad. So basically I just set underneath my eyes. I like to keep my face looking quite natural and dewy, but I hate the fact that I get super oily, so I kind of just focus it in my T-zone area. Because I definitely like to be dewy, but not too oily. You know what I mean? Okay. So after that, I then go ahead and take my... Where is that? brush sorry i'm looking for my powder brush but i cannot see oh it's right here okay i'm blind so this is a brush that i've also had for a while and i just kind of set the rest of my face a little bit not too much where it's noticeable but to the point where i feel it looks decent I also don't want to flatten my face way too much. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, so I then go ahead and take a different brush and I go ahead and take this bronzer that I had just gotten. It's a Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. I saw that it was like almost sold out at Target when I went to go get another bronzer. So I was like, hmm, why not? Let me try it. And by the time I got home, it was broken. I don't know how that matches that story, but it does. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this and bronze up my face. Because your girl is pale. And Loki kind of sucks. It's the only reason I like Sar. It's because I get tan. I'm also gonna bring a little down my neck to kind of match my face and a little my jawline. Um, I normally don't really like to contour my nose too much, but I still like to kind of contour just to pretend it makes a good difference. Not sure if it does, but in my head, I pretend it does. I'm gonna also look in this mirror because I need to see what I'm doing. Because I do not want to look too crazy. And if you hear him jumping or whatever, it's because my nephew is playing Fortnite. So please ignore that. Okay. That did not make much of a difference, but it does in my head. <laughs> so that's all that matters. Okay. I just dipped my finger all the way into my bronze. But it's fine. Um, okay. The next step I do is I take this blush. It's Milani. It's the baked powder blush in the shade Luminoso. It's super pretty. I love it. Okay. This just adds some color back into my face. Because I tend to get a little washed out after I put on all makeup, even, you know, with bronzer and all, it still doesn't do as much as I would like it to, personally. Oh. <laughs> you see, I'm keeping all my products in one spot, so probably not the smartest option for me. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? Hmm. Maybe I'll do a little eyeliner. Who knows? I think I'll do a little eyeliner. So all I do for eyeliner is kind of just like so. Just a small wing. Decent enough. 
Um, they're probably not perfect, but it's good enough for me. So basically, I kind of wanted to show you guys this mascara that I've actually been trying out for a little bit. It's just a small sample size I got from Ross. Um, it's the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Ribbel Length Plus Lifting Mascara. I still keep it in this because I like the packaging. Packaging is pretty cute. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for my makeup. Now, I guess I'll do my hair on camera too since it's only like a 10 minute long video. Ow! <laughs> yeah, my hair just dislikes me. So basically all I was thinking for pictures is to kind of just leave it down a bit. And let me see if I can find my bob pins. Where do I keep them? Loki kind of forget where I left my bobby pins. Ooh, I also have these really cute rings that I've been wearing recently a lot. I'm obsessed with rings. My bestie, Elisa, she made me a t-shirt and some a ring and a sticker as well. This one says, free, why don't we? I love this ring. I think my mom got it while thrifting and she let me borrow it and I haven't returned it. They also have this like mood ring. I have no idea where it's from either. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, but it is. It is what it is, I guess. I still have no idea what I want to do for my hair. Oh, I found my bobby pins. Okay, great. So what I was thinking of doing, since I have quite long bangs, they're not considered curtain bangs anymore. I kind of just like to hide them now because they're kind of at like this awkwardish length that I do not like. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, if you like this length of bangs, go for it, wear them. But I personally just dislike them because I feel like it just does not look good on me. Okay. So it's kind of that. So, the fit is this red tube top, a pearl necklace, these rings that I've been wearing, some silver hoops, and then these really cute jeans that I wish I can show you. But yeah, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and my social medias are down below in the description. And yeah.